Hey, it's Pavel here from Emersoft. Today I would like to show you how to use Gmail like a pro. And if you are like me and spend a majority of your time in your inbox every day, you might find it helpful. I receive anywhere between 50 to 150 emails a day. Not all of them are important. I have a lot of notifications or uh, newsletters. But I want to make sure that I don't miss a single important email, like an email from my client or maybe a new lead or anything like that. And I set up my Gmail to help me with this. Let's get straight into it. So here you can see a default Gmail layout. First thing we need to do is go to settings and change the inbox type to priority inbox. Uh, this will create, this will split your inbox into different sections. Let's go to all settings and navigate to inbox. Here you have uh, details about those sections, but we will get back to it uh, a little later. Let's start with the importance markers. This is how, this is where Google learns what's important to you. And we want to make sure to enable this. Let's uh, enable. And here, as you can see, now I can see the icon of, uh, of the, the importance marker. If you had that enabled, but you still didn't see the icon, I would suggest just disabling it, saving, and then enable it again. Sometimes Google acts funny with that. So here with those uh, uh, labels, we can mark emails that are important. And then from your actions, Google will learn what's important to you. Obviously, by default, there are a lot of emails that are marked as important, but are not that important. So for me, in this important section, I want to see emails from real people, from my clients, leads or team members, whatever. I don't want to see any uh, spam here, any newsletters, anything that is being sent automatically, no notifications. Meeting invitations are also important. I don't want to miss them. So first thing that you can do is go for those emails and just uh, mark those that are not important. So let's say this is not important. This is some uh, notification. Then I have the work Google workspace again, clay team and things like that. Obviously you're going to have a lot of those emails and you don't want to spend time going through this and that's fine. Google will learn from your future actions. So for now, just uh, leave it as it is. But then you want to make sure that when you receive new emails, you go for them and then just mark if it's important, if it's an email from a person, then that's uh, that's important to you, marked as important. Here in everything else, you will find all the other emails that are not important, right? And this is also, it's, it's also good to go for this and see if there are any emails that are uh, important to you, but are not marked as important. But as I said, this will improve with time. Next, let's talk about labels. Labels are also pretty useful in Google. And one of a great examples of, uh, of label would be to group all the emails that have invoices, like accounting and invoices. I do that a lot. I have uh, I have it set up for myself as well. So I prepared this uh, query where I look for all the emails that are related to invoices. So I just paste it here. I'm going to send it to you later. And now I see there is one email that was found with some invoice attached. This is really a preview of how that filter would look like, would would, uh, would work. So if you're happy with that, if you see that those emails are actually invoices, then you can hit this button and uh, create a filter from that. So hit here, uh, check this one. This will <clears throat> apply the new filter to all the emails that were found here. And then apply, choose label. And from here, you can create a new label. So I like to add emojis invoice like accounting let's say uh books let's say like that yeah invoice invoices then i have a label for invoices create filter and there we go now all the emails that has 
and attachments with invoice or mention any invoice or payment confirmation will be added automatically to that label. You can customize colors, you can change this. So for example, this is, you know, color of the money. <laughs> Uh, so that's for invoices. Another good example for labels would be uh, meetings invitations. So I get a lot of them. I have a query for the meetings. I paste it here. Again, it found all the emails that uh, has some kind of a meeting invitation. I hit here, create a filter. This is fine. Then I, I want to apply this to all the matching conversations. Apply the label. I need to create a new label. So this is uh, calendar and meetings. Meeting invitation. Meeting invitation. Create. Create a filter. And now it has. So this one is applied and it will apply this for all the following for, for the future emails. So we have two two labels and uh, next one is a good example is a newsletter. So I have a newsletter here. It's an AI newsletter and uh, I want to stay on top of that, but I don't want this to be a noise in my inbox where I make money. Right? So here I open that uh, newsletter. I click on those three dots here and then we have filter messages like this. Then Google creates a query for that particular email. Again, I can preview, looks good. Create a filter, apply, apply new label. And then I create maybe a robot and AI newsletter, AI newsletter, create a filter. And now I have it here, by the way, as I said, I want to stop. I want to stay on top of the newsletters, but I don't want them to be a noise in my inbox. So I mark them as not important. Now we have a couple of labels created. We can go back to settings and uh, go see all settings inbox. And now we can customize the inbox sections. So important on top. I think that works great, especially when you start using that uh, important marker when Google learns uh, what's important to you. Then a uh, second one you can select. So those are just in options that are available, but then you can go to more options and select one of those labels. So let's say as a second one, you want to have invoices. And as a third one, you want to see your newsletter. AI newsletter, then save changes. And if we go back here, then I can see all invoices. Uh, this is empty because that uh, email is marked as important. So I will remove it from the important and then it goes to invoices. And then because one email can't be part of uh, multiple sections. So I really keep this section only for like very important stuff, communication with, with real people. And then I have different sections for whatever I need. I want to show you how I create those uh, queries for my emails with ChatGPT. So I prepared a prompt I'm going to share with you here. I paste it and then I have this place for the, for the query. So let's say uh, I want to create a filter that would filter out all the emails that pertain to our marketing outbound service. So we use a couple of different tools and I want to have just one label for all of them. So let's say include all the emails that pertain to the following tools and apps. And then we use uh, Apollo IO and then clay.com and Appify. And now it creates a query for me. So I just copy this. I go back to my Gmail. I paste it here. And then it filters out all the emails that uh, has anything to do with those tools that I, that I use. Right. So I'm happy with the result again, create a filter and I want to apply it here. 
choose label i create a new label so marketing out round tools and let's say email marketing outbound tools here i create a label and now i have a dedicated label so i can see all those emails are for my marketing outbound tools and then the last thing that i want to show you here is uh, google tasks this is very helpful and i think that a lot of people don't even know about it so i use this for emails that i that are important to me and I need to do some work before I answer or I want to get back to them, let's say, later during the day or something like that. So if I see something like that, the request for software development estimate I receive from a client potential lead and it takes me time to estimate and provide and break down things. So what I do is I go back here and sorry, I go here and I add it to the tasks then this email ends up in my task and then I can have easy access so I can go by uh, with my day, uh, go other places and I always have this tasks tab open here and I can go back to that email and it's here, I don't forget about it. Then when it's ready, I respond, I'm happy with that, I close the task. Like this is a great workflow for me I and I spend a lot of time in my email if you have any questions or need any help, just let me know. Thank you, guys.